you know, it's funny. I had a plan this morning about how my day was going to go. We were going to come here in disguise. We were going to talk to Caesar. We were going to get his side of the story. We were going to do whatever it took to make sure that he was not sending kill squads after me. And out of character, I had a plan for how to do that too. I was going to fight in the arena for some positive lead reputation. I was going to go back to Conwood Cove and talk to Decanus Severus and Aurelius of Phoenix and give them all the NCR dog tags I'd collected in Searchlight. And that would give me plenty of Legion reputation, enough to get me not just neutral, but even to one rank positive. And I was thinking, wow, what if instead of that, we went a little bit further? What if we went around to the NCR camps in the area? And we stole a bunch of dog tags and brought those back to Decanus Everest and got us all the way up to four ranks positive, all the way up to... We couldn't have gotten idolized, but we could have gotten to good-natured rascal. You know, that's four ranks positive and one rank negative. So we could have gotten really, really well liked by the Legion. But now that I've talked with Caesar, I can't escape the thought, why bother? Because, let, let's be clear... We're going to end up hostile to the Legion, no matter what. We're not going to be in bed with them, we're not going to help them, we're not going to go kill House for Caesar, which means that this is as far as we go with the Legion. We can't go any further without killing House, we're not killing House, therefore this is the end. So while there are ways that Gabriel might be able to get some positive Legion fame, I don't think there's really a point. He's going to look at all these options and say, wow, these are morally reprehensible. I don't want this on my conscience. I'd much rather have the death of a thousand legionaries on my conscience because, hey, maybe they didn't choose this life. Maybe they got conquered. But at least if I kill them, I can keep them from conquering everybody else, including, you know, the NCR, my hometown, or the Mojave, the place I'm learning to call my home. No, we're not. We're not helping the legion. We're not playing nice. And you know what? I think I have a new idea for this episode, which is, let's announce that to Caesar as dramatically as possible. Today, we declare war on the Legion. We have got what we came here for. We got the platinum chip into the bunker. We activated the robot army. We talked to Caesar. We talked to him about his political views about Hegelian dialectics. And you know what? What you said does not impress. And so... We can't kill you, because House wants you alive, because, after all, if you die, then the Legion is too weak to attack the NCR, and the NCR needs to waste its efforts fighting you in order for House to take Hoover Dam and the Mojave, and, as a run-on effect, for me to collect all the profit from that effort. Boy, I feel like kind of a shit heel right now. For, you know, betraying home and country for personal profit. Uh, <laughs> Maybe House isn't the best option, but it's not like the NCR is any better. Oh, this is... This is going to need some thought. Either way, you live for now. And I think it's time for us to run around here, grab anything of importance, and run the heck out of here, alright? Ah, here's something useful. A Legion Slave Ledger. Which is apparently an extensive record of the Legion's prior dealings with tribal societies it has encountered in its expansion. Of particular interest is the fate of the Twisted Hair Tribe of Arizona, who formed an alliance with Caesar to serve as his army's scouts during the conquest of that region. Once the Arizona wastes were pacified, the Legion turned on its erstwhile allies, stripped them of their tribal identity, and forced them into slavery. Those who resisted were crucified along the remains of Interstate 40. And hello? You've got a name. I don't think we talked to you before. Do you have anything to say to us? It is a great honor for anyone outside the Legion to get an audience with Kaisor. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a real great audience. I can't believe you let me so near your boss with 20 pounds of C4 and a detonator. You must be pretty important. You're here in Caesar's tent. Are you the Legion's second in com- No, wait, you're not that. I've heard about the Legate. You know, the, oh, over the radio with Mr. New Vegas. No. Legate Lanius is Kaisar's second. The Legate replaced the Burned Man after the Legion's defeat at the dam several years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Burned Man. I've never met him before. I'm not wearing his armor right now or anything. You got a pretty funny thing on your fist there. It's got some tubes coming out. What is that? It's a tradition in the Praetorians to specialize in unarmed combat, because weapons can break or jam when needed most. 
However, our unarmed techniques favor offense over defense. We can charge the enemy and flatten him with our first strike before he can react. Actually, I can ask him to teach me that, to knock people on their butts. Can you do that? You have a poor reputation in the Legion. It wouldn't be acceptable for me to teach you anything right now. Hmm. And unfortunately, I think you need to be liked, which is three positive and zero negative. So there is actually no way for me to learn that, I believe. So hypothetically speaking, if Caesar were to meet some entirely tragic accident wherein he were, you know, to, I don't know, die, the leg would be next in line to lead the Legion, right? He's the best warrior in the Legion. A full legionary by the time he was 12, he's never lost a battle. Had the Legate been in command during the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Legion would have won. I have no doubt about that. Wait, 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 wait. A Legionary at the age of 12, are you sure about that? Because the way Caesar told it, Legate Lanius was part of a tribe that got conquered, who, when they got found, they surrendered, and Lanius went on a bloodthirsty rampage because he was freaking pissed. You're saying he was a legionary at 12, which means he was younger than 12 when he went on his murderous rampage and demanded that Caesar kill all the adult males of his tribe. He was that young. One of you two is lying. I don't I don't know who, but one of that one of those stories is a lie. Wale. Vale, yeah, whatever it is. And I see we have a very hard locked chest here. And wouldn't you know it, I have some stealth nanobots. So let's very quickly pop this open. And we get 2,000 bottle caps. Okay, I will accept that. And a power armor helmet in lousy condition. I'll admit I don't really need that. But hey, I won't say no to something free to sell. I'll admit, it is kind of a shame. I was actually kind of looking forward to doing some of the Legion quests because Hi. I've never actually done a Legion playthrough. It's just that their philosophy is so repulsive to me and the outcomes for your companions so terrible, I just can't bring myself to do it. It's like, I'm not interested in, oh yeah, let's support the genocidal fascist slavers, you know? Ah, there we go. I will admit, it feels good to get back to the Mojave, and it feels like the sun's probably going down, so we need to either sleep here for the night, fat chance of that, or we need to basically go as far away from here as we can and find a place to sleep. Searchlight is probably a bad idea, because, you know, radiation, that's not a good idea. Um, where could we sleep around here that won't cause radiation? Probably the closest place is Ranger Station, not Charlie. What is it? Foxtrot? Echo. Echo. Right. We need to go to Echo to sleep off the night. And actually, before I forget... Hey, guy. <laughs> Good news. I haven't been crucified. In fact, I've been given a job by the Legion. But uh, I'm going to share a secret. We're not going to work for them. So you um Thanks for getting me down from that. You alright? I owe you one. Yeah, you're alright. <laughs> Who did this to you, I ask? A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the um package I was carrying, they strung me up there. Why were you trying to smuggle drugs into Legion territory? Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south, but the Legion caught me. All right, be on your way then, sir. So long. And hello. I see some houses peeking up over the ridge there. Let's see if some of those are open, unoccupied, and have beds. Well, we've got crosses here, so already not a good start. Ooh, and heads on pikes, lovely. And the, uh... Decor does not impress either. Lovely blood spatters and messes. Beds are free though, so nope, 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 nope. I had to stop myself from thinking or saying we're gonna sleep here tonight. Nope, no, we aren't. We're not sleeping in Legion territory. We're not sleeping in Legion beds. We're not sleeping in houses sullied with blood on the floor. 
we can do better for ourselves. Hello? Is that a straight line up there on the ridge? That doesn't look like a tree. That doesn't look natural. Maybe. Let's find out, all right? Yeah, here we are. I thought I saw something that looked straight-edged and unnatural. And it's got a star bottle cap and some ammo. And most importantly right now, a bed. Got a great view of Cottonwood Cove from here. And some more 308 ammo. Let's quickly pull up this thing. Can we see anyone from here? No, it's all too far away. But if we weren't limit limited by what the graphics could do, this would be a great... Oh yeah, this is called the Sniper's Nest. Won't say no to some free stuff. Some more 308 ammo. And a very hard locked gun case with... The Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle. Which is, I think, one of the guns with the highest base crit chance in the base game. This machine technically does more damage per shot, but this one is a crit monster, which means you can count on this to crit basically every other shot, so long as you have high luck. Which, I happen to have. Either way, it's a brand new day, we get to declare war on the Legion, and before we do that, I think we should head back to Novak and pick up Boone. Because, you know, if we're going to fight the Legion, he's been with me for a long time. We haven't spent much time with Boone. I think he'll enjoy getting the chance to go out there and kill some Legion. And besides, I need to head back to the van and see if I can't put a silencer on this new toy. Up oh, there is another ghoul over there. And... Boom. There we go, problem solved. And before we head any further, we should probably take some Radix rad jet because we're heading into Searchlight again. Yay. Oh, hello, there's a bridge up here. We have some bridges going up and a door in the cliffside right here. What exactly are you, I wonder? Searchlight East Gold Mine, a gold mine you say? Well, you know, the mine over there was pretty disappointing. Didn't have anything but, you know, explosives and some dead-end prospectors. But hopefully in here, we might find something good, I hope. Some empty mine carts, a disused track, some pickaxes. Come on. Get, oh. A very unbraced ceiling. Good to know. Keep that in mind. Get get in and out as quickly as possible. Is there are there any gold veins any, around here? Turn the light off. There are people here. Who exactly are you? Viper gunslingers. Okay. And see about blasting some of these people away. We have one, two, three, uh, four. We do have some frag grenades, some plasma grenades we picked up in what's its bucket. I think in House's bunker, so what we can do is wait until you get close up close enough over there, and then Yep, that'll work. You guys, um don't want to react to that? I mean I'm not gonna say no, but it just seems like you should have noticed the you know, the grenades rather than the giant beam of, of, of Tesla lightning. Maybe they're just really stealthy grenades. Okay, I, I don't mind. Okay, is there anything worthwhile in here beyond what these guys had on them? You know, it's a gold mine. There should be some gold somewhere, please. At least we're picking up lots of cave fungus out of this. Oh, hi. Oh, you guys just came in behind me, didn't you? But that's all right, because you weren't expecting the ambush. There you go. Everyone goes pop. Yeesh, that could have been bad if I hadn't noticed them. Just, you know, wandering around picking up fungus. Rat away. Rat away. Thank you very much. I would love more rat away. Thank you so very much. All right. Let's see what's at the other end of this bridge. You know, do some exploration on the way back to Boone. There I go again. Gabe... Terminal Curiosity de la Cruz. Just, you know, exploring random buildings for the fun of it because he's too <laughs> curious for his own good. And I see we have some big horners over here. 
and some abandoned buildings, or at least I think they're abandoned. I don't see uh, any people out, out of the ordinary. But there's animals still penned up when the fences are broken, so... And two graves. Do I have a shovel? No, no I don't. Should I look for a shovel? I really probably shouldn't. Ooh, hello. Torn Diary, page four. You've discovered Matthew's Animal Husbandry Farm. The animals, they're evil. They tried to eat me in my sleep. They want the farm for themselves. Now that mom and dad are gone, they want the farm for themselves. They're plotting against me, plotting to eat me. They're becoming ghouls like my parents, and they want to eat me like my parents did. Too many of them to kill them all. I know what I'll do. I'll burn the house down around me. Then the animals can't eat me because there will be nothing left for them to eat. That'll be you, then. This soul skeleton here in the ashes of a burnt-down farmhouse. Can we find diary pages one through three, I wonder? Well, there's two. Dear Diary, I took a chance today and left the animals alone to go look for Mom and Dad. I found them in that camp. They had become horrible feral ghouls. I didn't know what to do. They came at me so fast. What have I done? Ah. So, just, you know, adding two and two together. Kid lives here in the farm. Their parents live in Searchlight, or work there anyway. Maybe they live here, but work there. Either way, they're in Searchlight when the, when the radiation bomb goes off. They become ghouls. Kid goes to look for his parents. They try to eat him. He kills them. Thus the two graves. Diary page three. I hate being all alone. I want my mom and dad back, but I can't have them back because I killed them. I didn't want to kill them, but I had to kill them. Otherwise, they would have eaten me. I hope the animals don't eat me. Can animals become ghouls? Yeesh. <clears throat> that sucks for this kid. Ugh. Ooh, and a star bottle cap. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, th that's me feeling lots of empathy and sadness for the kid who had to kill his parents because they chose the worst day to go into town. And all that, all that is overshadowed because I found a star bottle cap. Yay. <laughs> And we're up to 29 of those. How many do you need for the quest? Is it 50, I think? We have a camp over here. We have several markers down there. What is this beyond hopefully not hostile? The raided farm said. Ah. So we have a bunch of farmers who got killed by somebody. And we have some, uh, some more, more star bottle caps. Hello. Some leather armor, some ammo, and some... Oh. I hear gunshots. Gunshots from where? Hello. I saw someone moving over there. Oh, hi. Oh. Are you not trying to kill me? Oh, shoot, 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 run, 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 ow, ow, crap, ow, crap, ow, 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 ow. Do we have a shotgun on me? No, we have, yes, yes, we do, we, ha we, ha we have this. Turn the corner. Ow, 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 okay, they were waiting in ambush for me, they were waiting in ambush for me. Go away, go away, go away, ow. <coughs> Everybody gets a shotgun! Ow! Ow! Yeah, you you jumped me! Did you expect me to not kill him? They killed him! And one for you, I'm out of ammo. Crap out, crap out, crap, crap, crap out. It's really hard to aim this with a broken arm. You know what? Fine. You don't need to aim grenades. Have another one. You need to stop. Ow. And there's a legionary assassin somewhere around here. Unless I got super lucky and these guys just managed to kill him for me by accident. It's like, I could not have planned that better. But hey, I will take advantage of a Viper ambush to... Yeah, there he is. That just killed the legionary assassin. I mean, sure, I guess. I can't believe that just happened. This 
this legionary assassin just roll up ready to be hey caesar has marked you for death and the legion obeys and then the viper has jumped me and jumped him and it just lined up perfectly i mean okay we take those we take those here ah hello we have a house up here which is caesar's legion's safe house which needs a key to open Right, that was why I wanted to get in good with the Legion, was because that way I could pick up the Lucky Shades. But you know what, I think I'm fine, you know, not having a completely optimal character if it means I don't have to fight for Caesar's Legion. Now that I think about it, from the Legion safe house, you have a really good view. You can see all the way to Nipton up there, you can see all the way to the Mojave outpost. If there weren't a mountain in the way, you could see Prim. You can see Searchlight, you can see over to the Searchlight Airport if there weren't mountains in the way. You could see Novak, you could see Cottonwood Cove. This is a really good place to put, to put a spy. Just have someone sit here with a sniper rifle or a binoculars and uh, spot some jackals back on the road up to their tricks. I have an idea. I have a brilliant, wonderful, awesome idea. Do I have explosive rounds for this? Yes, yes I do. And, important point of order, I have some buff out so I can actually handle this sucker too. <laughs> right at their feet, blow their legs off, and... Kaboom! <laughs> and you know what, where's your friend? I could have sworn there was, well, yep, one on the ridge. One for you too! Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. But I'm a terrible person with buff out and, ex and an explosive sniper rifle. Ooh, hello. What do we have over here? Well, we have more ghouls, so whatever it is, we're probably dealing with more radiation. Thankfully, we've picked up some radiation, so that shouldn't be an issue. Question is, why are you ghouls? I see a thing up on the hill there. Let's see, we have a bunch of chairs with authority glasses on them. All looking down at a bunch of ghouls and a house. This feels like a world of pain encounter because that's a lot of high level enemies. Ugh. And you know what? I have no reason to fight these guys, so we'll go down there. Let them fire the first shot, and um, be ready to respond. You know, the way it, oh, the old nuclear test site that explains some things. Yep, these guys are not happy with me. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you might be very close for the boom. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, it's time for the compliance regulator to get me some space. Ah! Oh, you hit very hard. Ow, 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 crap, ow. Dang it. I have a sudden premonition. These guys are jerks. We shouldn't wait for them to kill us because we should kill them first with the explosive sniper rifle. Like this. One on the leg. And one for you. Let's just go for the match ammo. We don't need the explosives right now. Actually, you guys are right next to each other, so if you could just stand closer together, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, just like that. Oh, see, I like this. We should do more of this. This is a good gun. <laughs> and you take that to the chest like a freaking champ. What the heck? Seriously. If you can take a 50 BMG to the chest, you deserve to live. You did not deserve to live. There we go. Problem solved, I think. Now, was there anything worth that expenditure of 50 BMG? No, not really, but we do find a hunting rifle custom action. The bunker test site. What's in this? Hello? More ammo, 60 marker fusion cells, there's nothing to be seized at. 
And I'm probably going to regret going in here because it is a bunker. It's a world of pain area. But you know what? It's not like we're actually making any story progress in this episode, so why the heck not? I'm having fun. Oh, this is going to be super dark, isn't it? Yep. Do we have our ranger helmet so we can actually see anything? No, no, we don't. I need to find some cybernetic eyes, maybe. I would like to have more vision modes available to me. And I don't think we can actually wear this, can we? No. Tell you what. Let's go run home. Let's take a night's sleep. Let's grab Boone. And... Or we can start getting shot at. That also works. Yeah, there we go. Paralyzed. Yeah, there is nothing I can see in here. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. There's a guy coming. Do we have a shotgun? More importantly, do we have a shotgun with ammo for it? Ow. Run, 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 run. Ow, ow, ow. Crap, ow. Get paralyzed, get paralyzed, get paralyzed, get paralyzed, get paralyzed, die. Why aren't you getting paralyzed? You know what? We're gonna leave that place alone. Just, you know, because we can. Because we don't need to go in there. And because, ow. And in the nuclear test shack we have a really dark room and trash. Entry three in the die array of trash. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm too easily amused by that. Dear diary, I'm so done being confined in this human body. So today I moved into the shack of the abandoned test site. There should be enough radiation there to turn me into a ghoul. All around me this world is bleak and dreadful. Is it so wrong to want a body to match it? I wonder what color my skin will turn and if I'll be able to find a good shade of lipstick to go with it. Probably not. Everything is so miserable. Dear diary, I've been in the shack for almost a week now. Nothing is happening. I'm so bored and the shack is so hot and it's totally ruining my hair. It's like so hard to find dye this color in the wasteland. This sucks. I want to be a ghoul now. I hate all this waiting. Life. Ugh. Living is so overrated. Good news, diary. I think it's finally starting to happen. Okay, so I do feel like totally miserable. What else is new? And my skin is starting to peel off, but I'm pretty sure this is the first step. Oh, and my hair. I finally got it just the way I like it, and now it starts coming out. Why does ghoulification have to be so unfair? <laughs> well, you know, an alternative to ghoulification is death. I guess the diary is fitting. Speaking of diary, let's get out of here before we diary. Let's just chase this one more map marker over here. Although I see sentry bots, so maybe not. One sentry bot, one gutsy. What exactly is the range on this thing, on the EM pulse? Because I'm pretty sure we can snipe one of these if we... Yep, that's not... Uh, oh, unless maybe we could just hit the combat inhibitor. And we didn't hit the combat... Oh yes, yes we did. Now it's fighting everyone else. There we go. Ow, oh that's plasma, let's avoid that. Yes, everyone fight it. Oh, that is a lot more robots than I thought it was. I'm glad we chose that as the sacrificial lamb. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, we've got rockets on. We've got rockets incoming. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my goodness. The frame rate. Oh, the frame rate is going. Yes, this is on my end. I cannot see a darn thing. I'm getting like three frames a second. Ow, ow, ow. And the game just crashed. You know, I, I'm not surprised, but still. Ow. That does very much beg the question, though. How do we take care of this? Actually, let's grab the binoculars real quick. Give us a better view. We have one, two. I think I saw three sentry bots. One, two, three, probably more gutsies. So the best way to solve this is probably still to uh, Tesla rifle melt down some of them and then wait for the rest. Hmm. 
tell you what, you're close together, so we're just gonna quickly pop you. There we go, that's two gone. If you could turn around, that'd be lovely. Now you're gonna face me, of course. And your inhibitor chimp is on the rear, but we can pop you. There we go. Did that get the inhibitor chip? No, you are coming this way. So Tesla rifle, just emptying that over a long range is a good option. There we go. And uh, you can't see me. What's the range on the electromagnetic pulse? Not that good, and they're too slow. Stop moving around, darn you. Yep, ju just use the gun. The guns were going to be more effective over long ranges. However, you two look like you're being pretty slow, so line it up. And they don't have the range. <coughs> so again, just use the gun. And let's just anticipate the problem. Get the compliance regulator out. That way, if we do spot... Oh, you're alive. And that's why we have the compliance regulator. <laughs> yes, that's why laser gun. That's why paralysis laser gun is good. Oh, there's four of them. There's four of them. There is four sentry bots. Okay. <laughs> Well, I suppose that explains why there are so many robots here. Is because there's a crash vertebird. Yeah, it looks like a vertebird just came through here, plowed down here, and carved a crater into the earth. <clears throat> Frankly, I'm surprised it's still intact given the state of the rock around it. it. Must be really hard metal. And if I remember my history books right, this is probably an enclave vertebird. Because remember, before the NCR had vertebirds, before the NCR fought the Brotherhood for the Vertebirds, the Vertebirds belonged to the Enclave. So this is either an Enclave Vertebird or a really bad NCR pilot. Though given the robots, I'm going to say probably Enclave. The Tesla beaten prototype and a power armor training manual. Hello. Does that mean I know how to wear power armor now? Because if so, I'm pretty sure we have some back in good springs we could try on. Yes, please! Oh, before I forget, Tesla beaten prototype. How does that look? Pop some repair kits in there, and that takes it up to 92. 145 DPS, and it takes electron charge packs. Oh, and it's a big gun. So if we pop some of the optimized ammo in there, that brings it up to 119 with 182 DPS. So that's that's the that's the that's the alpha strike option. Just find one enemy you really don't like and pow. Oh yes. <laughs> I can work with this. <clears throat> For now, though, we've had our fun exploring, and I think it's time for us to head back to Novak to grab the van, grab Boone, and next time, I think, it's time for us to declare war. <laughs> and we have a brand new gun with which to do it.